Many of the stands in the early Rogers catalogs are stands made by Wahlberg and Auger out of Massachusetts, who actually supplied hardware for every major American drum company at one point or another. Stands as well as many other things such as this drummer's throne and zip clutch, etc. Even the earliest first generation 4401, 4402 hi-hat stands and first generation 4403 cymbal stands were made by Wahlberg and Auger. WNA did not mark their products with a logo because they knew it was not good business to compete with your own customers, but there are ways to identify. WNA stands will often have two different kind of feet. This flat type slip on tip and this riveted style foot. But one surefire way to tell if a stand was made by Wahlberg and Ajay is to look for ear mounts. Notice how these ear mounts are pressed out from the tripod collar on these stands. If it has ear mounts, it's a Wahlberg and Auger stand. A few ways to tell a Rogers WNA made first generation stand from later stands. The first generation 4403 cymbal stand will have a straight leg top where the later version has this curve. The early version will have no wing screw on the bottom section and the lower, wider braces on the tripod. Also, a collet accepting the top section where the later version has a U-clamp. The 4401 and 4402 hi-hat stands will also have the straight leg top and the tension screw will face forward where the later stands have the bent leg and the tension screw to the side. They will commonly have this friction cup equipped clutch where the later versions have a basic bottom nut. The early stands also have this rubber stop ring. Notice the ear mounts. These stands, made by Wahlberg and Auger specifically for Rogers, first appeared in the 62R catalog and ran until close to the end of the Covington era. You can even see some of them show up in the 67-68 catalog. What I would love to know is who produced the stands for Rogers after WNA. I've reached out to everyone who I felt would be in the know, including former Rogers employees, but no one has any answers. Please reach out if you have any information. I hope this video has helped you identify your Covington era stands. Thanks for watching.